Hey guys, I want to welcome you if you are a full-time Flex student in Advanced American Literature. So, my name is Mrs. McRavi. Hello, it is great to meet you. Um, I want you to know that you are just as valued even though you're not within my classroom. So, I really just wanted to make sure you had the opportunity to see what your virtual classroom looked like and kind of understand some procedures and understand some supports in place to help you out. So let's take a peek. This is, now granted, you may not be in this exact period, but for the most part, um, they're all set up the same. So this is your banner for class. These are clickable links. So that takes you to PowerSchool, that'll take you to Solenco, and that'll take you to make an appointment with the guidance counselors. So. Um, the first thing you're going to see in this folder will kind of always be there. I'm going to just basically pin it to the top. It's the class information. It's the syllabus. It's the introduction video of who I am. It's the remind instructions, some apps and web tools we're going to use. Um, here you'll also find the summer reading workbook. If you were not able to pick one up in the spring or you don't even know what I'm talking about, here is one for you that you could print off and complete and then get back to me. I'm going to have them due by um, September the 11th because I don't don't even see my Friday in-person kids until then. So um, that's the plan for the summer reading workbook. If you'd like to do it digitally and you want me to send you a copy on Google Docs that's editable, you can do that too. So just let me know. So that'll always kind of be there, the course information. And then each week I'm planning on having a folder for the week. And then just to make it real clear, I'm going to have something for each day. And under each day, every time you should see an agenda slide. And some of those agenda slides will have hyperlinks within them that kind of tell you what you're doing. Um, but then I also put those links underneath so that there's kind of no, no place to miss. Um, and then here you'll see if there's an activity. These are things that would need to be completed and turned in. Um, admittedly, I used to use uh, Google Classroom pretty frequently. Um, I never used Schoology. I kind of hated it. And I don't know if that's changed, but <laughs> this is what we're going to be using. Um, so if we run into issues as we go, please be patient with me. I am new to this. Um, here, if you were to have a question, because the expectation is that you're in my classroom, my virtual classroom, during the time that you're supposed to be. That's why you're a flex student and not an SVA student. But let's say you have a question and you're like, I really wish I could talk to her right this second. My plan is not to zoom you in so that you can watch me get the other kids started on the same activity you're going to be doing because you're not missing anything. Me just saying, hey, go to Schoology. It's the same thing that I'm telling you right now. But maybe you have an, an issue or maybe something's not working or maybe you want clarification. You would just click this link here, which is a live doc. I mean, every doc is live, but I'll have it up. And then you just put your name. You can type your question here and then I can respond to you right here. And the nice thing is, let's say three of you have the same question. I can answer one time and then everybody knows. So this is gonna be a good way to keep um, in touch with each other. I am looking for better ways. I really wanted to do a back channel chat so we could have like a chat room open, but I've been having some issues with the technology there. And Schoology used to have a version of it, but the free version's up and we're not gonna pay for it. So here we are, we're, we're doing our best, but that should work for now. Um, certainly if you guys think of a better solution or you see something in a class that works really great, tell me. Um, I want to learn how to be better. Um, Wednesday is always virtual and that's gonna be on Zoom. That's my plan as of now. Now if the Zooms go terribly or they're just a nightmare in general, I'll probably cut them out, but I would love to see everybody together. And I think that would be a good way to still have that community, that sense of community. So um, we are going to have this Zoom, there's the link, here are some writing prompts that are gonna go with it. You'll see what I mean when we have the meeting. So every week I'll post that uh, link. And so essentially that's it for the course. I have it built, I think, as simple as possible with as much detail as possible at the same time. So it's not too much, but it should be extremely clear what's expected of you each day. But if it's not clear, please just let me know. I really wanna make sure that you are feeling comfortable and happy and a part of our group because you are and um, just reach out if you need anything but um, hopefully everything makes sense and it's all clear but if it's not you just ask because just because it's clear to me doesn't mean it is to you and that's okay that's probably on my end so we're gonna make this work I'm gonna be kind and patient with you you're gonna be kind and patient with me and everything will be okay but thanks for joining us virtually it's really great to have you